This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone glorify the use of drugs. How's it going, everyone? I'm Loki Fish, and in this video, we're covering the essential nutrient known as vitamin A. This is a group of chemically related organic compounds that are important for vision health, immune function, cell growth, and skin health. If you take vitamin A, it will preserve your eyesight, protect your immune system, maintain young, healthy skin, and much more. I'll go over anything you want to know, including the benefits, doses, difference between forms, how to know if you're deficient in it, my personal experience, and everything else in between. Let's get into it. is a fat soluble vitamin that acts as a potent antioxidant and is deemed essential for your health. It supports various aspects of your life like preserving your eyesight and sustaining a healthy immune system. Vitamin A isn't just a single nutrient, rather it comprises of a group of fat soluble compounds including retinol and retinol esters. One of vitamin A's best known functions is its role in promoting overall eye health. Your eyes are open. I can see the world now. Adequate intake of vitamin A defends against certain eye conditions such as age-related macular degeneration. Additionally, it helps you see better at night or in darkness. For example, when my grandparents used to be around, they couldn't drive at night because they had a hard time seeing when it was dark out. Looking back, they definitely could have benefited from vitamin A. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't think you'd understand. Vitamin A. Moreover, it bolsters the immune system by promoting the development of T cells, which are a type of white blood cells that protect against infections. In other words, it stimulates responses that protect your body from diseases and illnesses. It may also assist in preventing acne by warding off inflammation and promoting healthy skin. To boils, acne, and blackheads. Vitamin A can be found in two different forms, retinol from animal-based foods and carotenes from plant-based foods. Preformed vitamin A, also known as retinol, is a type of vitamin A that your body can use directly without the need for conversion. This is because said form is already in a biologically active state and ready to be absorbed. Hey, that's good. You're, that's, that makes it easy. Foods that commonly contain retinol are fish liver oil, butter, eggs, and cheese. On the contrast, the second form is called provitamin A carotenoids. In order to utilize this type, your body must first convert it into a more active form. Guys. I'm here to convert you. These carotenoids are present in foods such as sweet potatoes, spinach, kale, and carrots. When comparing the two forms, retinol is much more readily absorbed by your body than plant-based sources of carotenoids. For every one microgram of retinol absorbed by the body, only about four to 50% of carotenes are absorbed. Jesus, did I really set the bar that low? Because vitamin A is fat soluble, your body has the capacity to store excess amounts of it, which can lead to unhealthy levels accumulating. Excess preformed vitamin A can be toxic and may do more harm than good. Too much in your system can cause increased cranial pressure and liver damage or even death. Acute vitamin A toxicity manifests over a short period of time when someone ingests an extremely high dose of vitamin A at once. Chronic toxicity occurs when doses more than 10 times the normal amount is consumed over a longer time span. Furthermore, you should avoid taking vitamin A supplements if you already take synthetic forms of vitamin A, such as Accutane. To circumvent toxicity, steer clear of high dose vitamin A supplements or avoid taking it daily. I'll try to be more careful. Too much vitamin A can result in memory disruption and depression and too little can contribute to Alzheimer's disease or dementia. If you are deficient in vitamin A, you may experience symptoms like having a hard time seeing at night, hair thinning, dry eyes and skin, respiratory infections, corneal ulcers, or acne. According to the World Health Organization, a lack of vitamin A is the primary preventable cause of childhood blindness on a global scale. When treating acne with vitamin A, topical formulations show the most potential. These product types are commonly referred to as retinols or retinoids. Eating foods rich in vitamin A can enhance the skin from the inside out, whereas topical formulas can directly address acne on the surface. Surface. Retinol can improve acne by decreasing inflammation, reducing excess sebum and oil production, evening skin tone, and healing scars. An example of a topical retinoid is tretinoin. This is a synthetic form of vitamin A only available by prescription, but it's used to treat acne and prevent wrinkles. On average, it is 20 times more potent than retinol when the lotion is applied to the face. It comes in different strengths as well, as this one is 0.5%, while this one is 0.8%. Retinoids also have synergy with antibiotics like doxycycline when clearing severe acne breakouts. Regarding the dosage, the recommended amount to take is between 700 to 900 milligrams per day. This dosage is relatively easy to reach if you already consume plenty of whole foods. Supplementing with more than 3,000 micrograms in one day can lead to vitamin A toxicity. Personally, I only supplement with oral vitamin A about once or twice a week. However, I do use a topical form Retin-A every morning after I get out of the shower. I'm prescribed this for acne and I'm instructed to apply a pea-sized amount to my face and neck once a day. It's not a cure for acne, but it's still one of the best prevention methods out there. Because I've taken special precautions to prevent that very thing from happening. And not only do these combat acne, but they also reduce wrinkles and make your skin look way more younger than it is. This is the main reason that I'll still look like I'm 15 even when I'm like 40. I think that the oral supplement should be used for maintenance only to ensure that you don't become deficient and experience side effects. And definitely be careful and use it sparingly or in low doses so that you don't build up too much excess in your system. Other than that, if you need help treating bad acne, you may want to ask your doctor to prescribe you the topical form because it does a great job at managing moderate to severe 
your acne. Another fat soluble vitamin that's beneficial for the skin is vitamin E. This helps keep your skin moisturized, protects against UV damage from the sun, and reduces wrinkles. Watch this video next on everything you should know about vitamin E and how it's yet another essential nutrient. Vitamin E has other benefits too, like improving cardiovascular health and acting as an antioxidant. My name is Fish and I stay low key. Peace out.